This piece of glass was once human brain tissue. It was found inside the skull of a young man who died in his bed in the Roman city of Herculaneum, when Mount Vesuvius erupted almost 2,000 years ago, in the same eruption which petrified Pompeii. Researchers have been studying these dark, shiny shards found within his skull and spine, and concluded that a superheated ash cloud was responsible for this unique transformation of brain matter into glass. For a liquid to turn to glass, it has to cool so rapidly that crystals can't form as it solidifies. And for a brain to turn to liquid in the first place would require incredible temperatures. But that raises a conundrum. You see, the pyroclastic flows which buried Herculaneum and Pompeii in 79 CE wouldn't have been hot enough to melt tissue. So researchers think that this person was killed by a superheated ash cloud well over 500 degrees Celsius in temperature. The cloud would have then quickly dissipated, allowing the tissue to cool into glass. This ash cloud may have been what actually killed many of the citizens of ancient Herculaneum. And in the case of this man, conditions were just right for the unique transformation of his brain tissue. You can even see the imprints of his nerve cells visible under the microscope, something that's incredibly rare in archeological remains. In fact, there are very few ways that brains can be preserved at all, and this is the only known example of a brain or any kind of animal tissue being turned into glass. It's an incredibly unusual case, and one that sheds light on an ancient eruption and the fate of its victims. And perhaps future discoveries will reveal even more ancient stories hidden in the unlikely form of a piece of glass.